What is this experience like for for you and your family over the last couple of weeks? Man, it's been it's been awesome just being able to go through this with my family. Not not it's not just my brother; it's my family too. Like all of them, just being proud of us. I'll get like four or five different calls every single day from family members just saying how cool it is. Like how uh, how much fun they're having watching us play on Saturdays, and it's been it's been really cool going through it. Why give us a good story of uh, Baylor growing up that maybe illustrates his <laughs> kind of competitive nature? Um, Baylor. Anything happen that stands out? You know, he's a he was he was a pretty late bloomer in high school. Um, I think uh, he'll he'll tell you the same thing. His freshman year, he was he was a third string quarterback on the freshman team, but uh, that that hasn't stopped him, and he just kept working. He's one of the hardest working people I know. And I, I think it's it's showed here too. He started third string this season, and, and uh, but it just his his whole entire life he's just been working, and he's just been he's been consistent in everything he does. And um, obviously that kind of, that type of work that work ethic is not going to go unnoticed. And eventually it's the he's going to rise to the top. And so I think it's it's really showed with Baylor, and uh, all that hard work is paying off. We heard that you guys have been working on that goal line play quite a bit. Mm -hmm. How did, when did you know it was going to work? And just take us through that. Um, I mean, yeah, we's, we've been we've been practicing that play for months since the beginning of fall camp, um, and uh, that's in the game. That's the best it's ever worked. It's worked better than even against the scout team in practice. Um, but as soon as we got out there, we saw the defensive look, and it was man to man, so we knew it was going to work. Talent Shumway, he made a great block. He pretty much sealed two people off, and so it was it was as soon as I went out there, and it was going to be a touchdown. What was running through your mind when you saw Baylor go out uh, to take that nail down at the end of the first half? Or are you thinking, man, is, is he now yeah. suddenly the guy? Yeah, so I, I, I didn't know that something happened to Jaron. So when I saw him go out there, I was, I was kind of shocked. Um, but we knew we knew Baylor was going to get some reps. We practiced uh, different packages and stuff with him throughout the week. And so uh, it was it was kind of weird. And then at halftime, they told us that Baylor was the guy for the second half. And so it kind of everybody kind of uh, – nobody was it was really uncomfortable. Baylor had – he played great last week and so everybody was ready for it and they knew he could step up and do a great job. When things weren't going so well, the coaches had said that you know, the offense needs to execute better. Well, we're starting to see that. The offense has executed better. What do you attribute the change in such a short period of time? Um, honestly, I think it's just the mindset that everybody has. Um, we we kind of just been more buckled in the last couple of weeks and everybody's just been kind of uh, uh, more laser. There's been laser-like focus and it, our practices and stuff. Everybody is. It's kind of. Uh, we're, we're more comfortable with it. Everybody's kind of like uh, having fun with it. I think that's that's what it is. Um, everybody just feels relaxed and everybody's got it, got it down now. So it's been going good. Baylor said after the game that he tackled you on the sideline. He didn't initially know it was going to go to you, but when it actually happened, yeah. how how is he at tackling? Um, <laughs> He's, he should stay a quarterback for sure. <laughs> Defense isn't really his thing, so he should he should uh, stick a quarterback. They made a lot in the television broadcast and that about that he's not on scholarship. Does that wear on him? Just kind of does he bring it up a lot, or is that? I mean, it's things? yeah, it's 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 hard being a walk on. I mean, you have to go through um, the the amount of time that we spend for practice and stuff, and so um, it's it's been hard on him. But he's he's handled it extremely well, and he's he's just been he's been. As I said before, he's a hard worker, and so he's he's been handling it really well. So we haven't gotten to talk to him very long. So sorry about these questions. It's all good. Does his wife work? How do they kind of make ends? Um, yeah, so she's on the track team. She's on the track scholarship here, and so they uh, they both kind of work summers, work off season, try to make enough money to save up. So they've, they've been they've been doing well with it. Was the season gone for you personally? Um, it's been it's been good so far. Um, I've eaten. I uh, just been doing my thing so far, and things have uh, things been going good. How do you feel as an offense to have a game where you put up, you know, forty two points and you know over six hundred yards, and to finally have that click? Because it just hadn't seemed to all click and mesh like it did last week. Yeah, it's it's really cool just to finally be able to see the production come come out like that. It was, a, it was a great game for us all around, rushing game, uh, passing game, just all around. And so I think it really builds the co confidence of the offense. And so going through the next couple of weeks, I think we're, we're going to try and play off of that and just try and try and replicate what we did. What changes have taken place in the offensive philosophy? I mean, it seems like it's a more aggressive approach, but what changes have you, have you noticed from your role? Um, honestly, 
not that much. It's, it's, it's sort of been the same throughout the year. I think we're finally just starting to click, so it's starting to look a lot better um, on film. But uh, we've, we've, we've all just been just focusing on our roles a little bit more and just kind of uh, everybody doing their job, and it's, it's really starting to show. How would you say your personality is different from Baylor? Um, I wouldn't say we're too different. We're Everybody in the locker room always jokes about how we're the same person. Okay. But, yeah, so as, as hard as, like, as weird as it may sound, I think he's even a little bit more quiet than me, which is, which is kind of hard, but it's, it's funny. Is that kind of reflected in his play? Because he seems like he's a pretty cool guy when he's on yeah, the field. Yeah, for sure. I think it really shows. Um, he got out there, and it, it looked like he was just, just throwing around, like, outside with nobody watching. And I think that just shows he's just such an even-keeled guy. Like, nothing really gets to him. Nothing really affects him. And he he's, doesn't show his emotions. And so I think it's, it's act, it actually helps him. How, how valuable is that when he's been in a situation where he doesn't know week to week, you know, with Zach and then with mm-hmm. Jaron and then, you know, the injuries. And it's like, am I going to be in? Am I not? You know, competition, all that. How much has that helped him to have that mentality? Yeah, I think it's, it's, been, it's been huge. Just uh, so when he gets thrown into the moment like he has been, it, it's not too much for him and he can, he can handle it. But at the same time, when when his name isn't called on the sideline, he doesn't get too down on himself, and he knows that this time is coming, and he can just have that that same mentality throughout the entire thing and not get too high or too low. So, if you were a quarterback, would you rather have the name Buckshot or Baylor? <laughs> a Buckshot is pretty cool. I'd, I'd rather have that one. To be honest, especially if he's throwing the gunner. <laughs> <laughs>